So another control and component that you're going to see in commercial equipment, especially three phase and bigger systems, are motor starters. And they are basically a contactor with overloads. We already know how a contactor works, so let's take a look at uh, a motor starter and see what the differences are. So here's a diagram of a motor starter. And let's go through this from a schematic standpoint. And this, let's, re, let's review. This symbol indicates the contactor coil. Remember, we talked about those earlier. Contactor coil is energized by one of the, those incoming legs through the, these contacts. And you see they're all wired in series. These are the contacts that open up should this uh, motor start to draw high amps because of high current or something's going wrong and it senses by way of high current and that high current creates heat and the heat will open up these contacts. So everything's wired in series so if any one of these contacts opened up, let's say this leg is drawing high amps right here, it will overheat that sensor in there and it will break open this connection and disable the power to the coil of the contactor and essentially it when it disables power to the contactor it breaks all three legs and then the motor stops and the thing is is uh, any switch that opens doesn't have to be all of them any of the safety switches that open will cause the motor to stop and interrupt the power to the coil here's an example of a motor starter um, incoming power comes in on the top. The coil voltage is right here on these two connections. And don't be intimidated by this. This is basically the contactor that we're talking about right here. The contacts are hidden by the cover. They're inside of here. And you can, you can tell if the contacts are depressed because there's a little indicator right here where it will be, it will go in and out with the armature of the contactors. And then the power coming out of the contacts are here, and then the overloads are on the bottom. And this is what will trip if it's, it senses high current. And when the overloads trip, they have to be manually re reset. Uh, they will trip most often and are designed to trip before the motor is damaged and before the internal overload of the motor stops the motor. So this is basically a motor protection circuit. And it must be manually reset because that prompts a service call from, from the owner of the equipment for you to come out and find out why the uh, motor overload and, and the motor starter has been tripped and diagnose what's happening. And remember, uh, if, you have a, if you have a motor that's locked up and drawn high amperage, it's going to trip. If you have a current imbalance, and a high leg of current on any of the three phases, it's going to trip. If there's a voltage imbalance, which causes another, which causes current imbalance, it's going to cause it to trip. So this is just an indication that there's a problem. Uh, usually the motor starter being tripped is not the problem with the starter itself. It indicates a problem somewhere else in the system.